फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू चेक करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर आर सी टी प्रैक्टिकली ऑन फील्ड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन चेक एनी ऑफ द करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट्स रेटिंग इज ओके और डिफेक्टिव सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वाई करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज यूज सो इज वी नो इन सब स्टेशन आर इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टेशन वेरी हाई अमाउंट ऑफ करंट फ्लोज इन कंडक्टर्स and this high amount of current cannot be measured directly with ampermeter and unit cannot be measured with kwh meter because conductor of size of this high amount of current is very high and this conductor cannot be connected directly to ampermeter and kwh meter so first we connect a ctr current transformer this current transformer convert high amount of current into low amount of current in the form of a ratio because in current transformer we have primary and secondary winding in the form of ratio as you know in ct we have ratio function ratio may be beta 5 or ratio may be beta 1 okay and for example if you use 100 beta 5 ct so primary of the current of ct is 100 ampere and it will convert 100 ampere current to 5 ampere so it will show 5 ampere current in secondary so high amount of current can be measured with ct and for testing of ct we have multiple methods first method is ratio test method in this video we will identify ct okay or defective by this method second method is saturation test method and burden test method also polarity test method and last one is insulation test method we can identify ct by all these five method but in this video we will identify by ratio test method okay let's see how to check current transformer you can see we have r y b three phase and also we have three current transformer this ct for r phase this ct for b phase and this ct for Y phase. Okay, we have three current transformer. First, for checking CT, first you need to identify ratio of the CT, which ratio CT is connected. You can see we connect to 400 by 5 current transformer. So first you need to know multiplying factor. So for multiplying factor, 400 by 5 we divide so find 80. So multiplying factor is 80 for this CT. Now you need two amp meter or clamp meter. First we connect R clamp meter in R phase. Also, second clamp meter need to connect R phase CT, okay? Because R phase first clamp meter and in CT S1 and S2 two wire. So in S1 wire we connect a second clamp meter and note down reading at a same time. We note down reading is 98 ampere in R phase and R phase CT 1.34 ampere. Now we have two formula by which we can identify CT is okay or defective. First formula phase ampere is equal to CT multiplying factor which we find multiply by CT ampere. Okay, and also we have second formula by this formula CT ampere. If you take CT ampere is equal to phase ampere multiplying by CT multiplying factor by checking first method phase ampere need to find. So 80 is multiplying factor multiplied by CT ampere 1.34 ampere. Reading should become 100 and 7 ampere. But in actual we find 98 ampere in R phase. Okay. So its reading is different. And but we can consider 5% tolerance. But reading is different. And also can check with second method. CT ampere is equal to 98 ampere, which is phase ampere divided by multiplying factor, which is 80. So reading should come 1.22, but in actual we find 1.34 ampere in CT ampere. Okay, so reading is different, but 5% can be considered. Okay, now for second phase. Okay, first phase reading is not good. Okay, now we connect to Y phase, first clamp meter, and Y phase CT is here. So we connect to second clamp meter in Y phase CT and measure. It is showing. 85 ampere in Y phase and 0.97 in Y phase CT. Okay, now check with the formula. Reading is okay or defective. So we have, as we know, we have two methods. Okay, we will identify with both method. First, phase ampere is equal to CT multiplying factor, which is 80, and CT ampere, which we find 0.97. So reading should come 77 ampere. But in actual, we find 85 ampere. Okay, so its reading also defective. Okay, but 5% we can consider for tolerance. Okay, so it, this reading could be considered. And second method is CT ampere is equal to 
phase ampere which you find 85 ampere and ct multiplying factor which is 80 so reading should come 1.06 but in ct amp we find 0.97 so this could be considered but reading is not good okay and last method so first we connect first clamp meter on b phase and second clamp meter on b phase current transformer okay and both reading should be this is b phase current transformer and both reading should take at the same time okay now we take reading and we find 86 ampere in b phase and 2.38 which is more which is very high current showing in current transformer first we see this reading is okay or defective we have as we know two formula now first check with first formula which is phase ampere is equal to ct multiplying factor which is 80 and ct ampere which we find 2.38 so it should come 190 ampere in b phase but it is showing 86 ampere which is a very high current okay so this ct is not good and it is showing defective reading by this our amp meter will not show proper reading and also in second method ct ampere which is equal to phase ampere which is, which is showing 86 ampere and multiplying factor is 80 so if we divide so we should find 1.07 ampere in ct but it is showing 2.38 which is very high so this reading is not good and amp meter and kwh meter will not show proper ampere okay so 5% tolerance can be considered for R phase and Y phase but B phase is defective. So we need to change B phase current transformer. I hope you clear the concept. If you like this video, please press like button for today's enough. We'll meet in next video. Thanks for watching.